Hey, look at that. My mouse is the same color as my vet kit. Oh my god, too funny. Didn't even realize that till I walked up. Anyhow, good day my fellow car modelers. Uh, today we're going to do a very quick, somewhat quick, brief update on the progress on my vet kit. Wow, the batteries in my phone's dying already. What the hell? Aish. Okay, I'm sidetracked. So... It's looking good. I really like the look of this. We got some finishing to do on the lights. I'll glue all the lights in. I have to re-glue the post because it broke again. Son of a gun. Yeah, it's going to be an ongoing problem. I guess if I had the glass in, things would hold together tighter. But anyways, yeah, interior. Everything's still mocked up. I should go back to that. Uh, talking about that part it's still just mocked up now I'll show you where I left off on the suspension actually maybe I won't because I can't get the body off in video it's together yeah well, or hold on let's do this let's set the camera down and ever so gently now while I'm taking the body off I want to talk quickly about something here now there, I see a lot of posts where the problem with kids nowadays, they don't know about model kits, they don't build kits, uh, nobody knows nothing about modeling, and I disagree. Uh, my partner in crime, her daughter is born in Korea, doesn't understand 100 fully percent Canadian culture and everything else, even though she's kind of Korean Korean. Canadian because she's lived here for a long time. I had the kit sitting out on the counter and she's already in her 20s. She's smart, whatever. But she's seen the kit. She goes, wow, you built a model. So cool. She picks it up and the wheels came off like that because like I said, it's just mock up. She goes, oh, oh I don't want to break it. But she knew about models and kits and that stuff a thing, that type of thing. But and, and she thought it was really cool. And she thought it looked really good. But, you know, professional, professional, professional builders, yeah, they probably going to say it sucks. But we each build to what we desire. So anyhow, she knew about it. This is not a Canadian. This is not an American. This is not somebody who doesn't know culture. But she knew what model kits were, what it's about, and what it is. So I disagree with a lot of you guys that post things that the problem with kids nowadays, they don't build stuff like this or don't know about stuff like that. So anyhow, uh, taking everything apart, I'm going on extremes. So the engine is glued in. I did do that. I did manage to get mounts. It mounted quite properly so that worked out good so I detail painted some of the exhaust and look at see it worked out fairly good now look at this side see you can't tell the glue lines I really like how that turned out now usually when I put the exhaust in I'll let it set and then after everything's set I will put a glue around the tubing to make it look like kind of a weld or a proper connection so that's kind of how I went about that the exhaust is in solidly now because look at I made these two brackets I made this bracket here for the exhaust hanger and this bracket here for the exhaust hanger uh, I need a light on this situation maybe it's not coming in good enough Please battery hold on for just a little while more. So there you go. That's the bracket is kind of large But you know what when I get the details painted all flat black you won't notice it at all So let me show you what I made it out of actually So what I did was I took a piece of sprue like this I cut it here with my razor blade there with the razor and I used this flat piece of sprue drilled a hole in it and put the exhaust pipe through this little piece so and I used one of these bits and I did it by hand not by a machine so that's what I did and then I drilled a hole in the chassis and mounted this piece into the chassis so that's how I made my own exhaust bracket 
and it gives a lot of strength there. Look at that. Wow. That's that's a lot, a lot of strength. And then I use Bondic on the back side. See? Here you can see where I drilled and bonded and then glued actually besides Bondic. So it's ain't going anywhere. And I still got a lot of detailing to finish up on this and to finish up the rest of the interior and everything else. Uh, lastly, I need my glasses because uh, old man glasses. I, uh, I'm still having a tough time deciding on whether to re-clear it or not. Maybe to sand it and re-clear and get rid of those nibs. But you know what? Is what it is. I'd rather maybe just put it the way it is as a shelf model and let it go at that. So my friends, thank you muchly for letting me blah blah blah. I hope you guys are being freaking awesome out there and I hope you're going to continue staying awesome. And I'll continue making substandard videos and we'll catch you on the next episode. So cheers until then. Later.